we just wanted really to have a service that we were paying for hoping and not have all the hassle every so many years of having all these films going on they're obviously not finding out where they're coming from they should be sorting out where it's happening it's something that's happening on their service and we seem to be the ones paying the cost for it and how much has it cost you so far well at the moment they're not charging us for the films but we did get a letter to say that if ever anyone came on again they would charge us for them and when uh, we were asked if we would like the service put back on and we agreed to have it on it was with reluctance because we didn't really want to lose uh, you know have the chance of having them paying and they said oh there's no chance of that you won't get any films on and within nine days they've got £200. over 200 pounds worth of films again so they're not sorting out where it's coming from and we paid £50 to have that TiVo box put in in January and they're just taking it out they're not re recompensing us at all for it you know they're just saying right May the 9th that's it it's cut off and you don't get anything else okay. we have family abroad that we contact over the phone there's no other way of doing it in Skype and that kind of thing broadband that's how we do our obviously our connection to them we only see them a couple of times a year, so you don't want to lose your connections to your grandchildren and that that way. But well, that's the only way we would get hold of them. And that's what and that's what this is about now. This isn't is it. it. We've got yeah. we lose all contact, and as you know, in this day and age, that's a lot of your contact now. Uh, your mobile phone. Well, I'll have my mobile, but your landline. For me, the landline. I pay extra for the all day talk, as they call it, or something unlimited talk, and we pay extra for that on the bill so that we can chat to the family at all times and we do because we have family all over the country I'm not doing anything wrong you know why should I be the one that always has all the inconvenience you know why can't they sort out their problem why do they have to leave it to us it. and I do is. wonder how many people yeah. have actually gone to somebody else rather than have the hassle because if you were in a family where you've got a mixed family in a large house, as you've seen, we only have a little place here. But if you've got a large family or a family in a big house, you can't say for definite no one's there. You've got there. a hotel in every room. Yeah. Which they have <coughs> nowadays, don't they? So you can't say. So more often than not, families would be inclined to say, we can't do anything about this, we'd better go and move off. And you wonder how many hundreds of people have done that rather than have all this hassle.